so our next speaker will stun you with all her grace elegance and extensive knowledge ma'am vandana tiwari sharma is an eminent designer and a convener for the eternal hindu foundation she is an extraordinary creationist she will enlighten us on the very important and relevant topic on sanatani women and the environment unfortunately due to certain time constraints she was not able to join us live today so she has instead sent us a sent us a video of hers and our audience uh, will definitely enjoy her video message so i would i would encourage uh, our audience to watch the video message and learn what she is trying to tell us what she and understand what she is trying to tell us go ahead the homemakers have been playing a great role since eternity in keeping their households intact by grooming their children as well nurtured people so that they become productive citizens of any nation moreover her role as a nurturer is incredible she makes herself available to her family extended family and friends such is her role description as a homemaker and it's not an easy one and they do it with such quiet and patience but in today's society the job of a homemaker is devalued as she is of no worth in terms of profit gain and on the other hand they themselves feel like a dying breed must drink courage to find loaded designations for themselves like a home manager or a ceo of her home or similar sad that they feel that there is a stigma in being called just a housewife while our children's mental health statistics are crying out loud for help depression is the new age disease this is reflective of the disruption that we have created in the role of the homemakers i find this quote in the magazine hinduism today a homemaker is a powerful and influential position that should be held in awe not in disgrace let us hold the hand of every woman who finds contentment in making home and family a priority and tell her that she's not less she's more she's the dying breed and she valuable beyond words ever since the industrial revolution we are facing multitudes of environmental issues namely the global warming methane in air plastic pollution in our water accumulated piles of trash thus we desperately seek more sustainable and less and less chaotic ways of life to reverse this chaos we need to bring our focus on the homemakers the devaluation of a homemaker homemaker as we hindus prefer to call her as the devi the giver the blesser of the household hence we need to revisit the sacred lifestyle of sanatan hindu women uh, homemakers here i am addressing women as homemakers so what are the rules of uh, sanatan dharmi homemakers the golden rules are um, perhaps with lesser conveniences but definitely with lesser stress and more uh, mindful and peaceful that peaceful way of life to corona seem to have reset some of the the pace up a bit but i have coined this term called peaceful way of life so that life is not a blur um and the homemakers help you savor it um she helps you savor moment to moment um here we check sanatan means uh, practicing sustainable ways of life so that is everlasting for all beings living or non living dharmi means self monitoring yourself for righteous for doing righteous duties for the larger good the golden tradition is depicted in the 14 piece uh, paintings of s rajam in 1914 these painting depicted the daily rituals performed as a routine from dawn to dusk by all hindu homemakers all over india in 1914 and prior thankfully our rural women still live with those golden rules and mindfully touch upon all the five elements of nature in their daily routine like offering water to the sun and making rangoli on the ground and she does it with all the love for her family for wholesomely thrive and uh, while our urban homemakers are always on the run and go feeling uprooted from their traditional setting traditionally a homemaker is a guardian bringing joy to herself 
first and then radiating that to the people around her. Invigorating life. She celebrates each day by wrapping herself in colorful saris, putting some flowers in her hair, straightening her chakras by energizing her third eye with a red dot called Bindi. Then offering few powerful mantra prayers to her deities. Then Lord behold, she starts her enchanting day. A festively dense Hindu calendar also helps her day, um, her day, mundane day to become a special one. With special recipes to go with, adding few minutes of rituals to mark the essence of the day. Hence, there is no deprivation and depression in her life. My present case study is that of my own mother, a well-educated woman who fulfilled her duty as a daughter-in-law, daughter, wife, mother, sister, uh, sister-in-law, Bhabi, and her grand and a grandmother. I appreciated her the most when she lovingly cared for my grandparents. In her daily routine, she would never miss her morning or evening artists. She observed every single day in accordance to the Hindu calendar with utmost enthusiasm and reverence. I returned from school to a delicious surprise prasad or sometimes a request to draw on the wall for some symbolic ritualistic fun. Um, she saved the world by stopping each kernel of rice and dal at a time as it mischievously tried to escape her winds into the kitchen sink. Thus sincerely acknowledging the work of the fellow citizen, the farmer, every single time. Cooking is an important part of homemaking. Sanatani Hindu cooking is supposed to apply Ayurvedic food principles to balance the doshas in accordance to the weather and the climate. My mother would prescribe the above. My grandmother would also prescribe the above and would insist that food must be offered to the deities for it become to for it to become a blessed one that fulfills each one's soul. My mother's kitchen only produced compostable trash and not a lot of plastic, as she had time to mindfully think about the environment. But these days, most professional women in their pursuit of happiness choose to order food from the restaurants and it's delivered in the plastic containers who has time to think about the environment. Home cook Food also helps save the environment as there's less food wastage in comparison to the restaurants and subsequently less methane in the environment, whereas the plastic food containers from the food deliveries will stay in the environment for years. My thoughts were validated by Bandana Sahu in her words, in Hinduism today, we often mistake money, ambition, status as the standard of, standard of productivity. But don't we admire the inherent nobility of our grandmothers who chose to selflessly nurture a human being from infancy to adulthood out of sheer love and duty? But wait, the homemaking comes in two parts. The husband provides and keeps the marriage gratifying, fulfilling for his wife, and is a second, a strong second part of this successful homemaker equation. Only if he values his wife's presence at home can this arrangement be uh, arrangement work equitable. In the end, I would like to say I acknowledge that some full-time homemakers neglect their homes, and then they are cert and they are not certainly better than working women. And then there are a lot of working women who stretch themselves to fulfill both roles somehow. So. The very successful ex-CEO of Pepsi Indra Nui in her very famous interview acknowledged that women can't have it all. It's just simply impossible. I too pursued a career to be a successful designer, but my heart was always being as of a homemaker. Finally, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to all the homemakers within you, regardless of the gender. Your work is highly appreciated. So I thank you all for being one. Together we will create well-groomed, well-nurtured future leaders to care for this world and this beautiful planet we call lovingly Ma Prithvi. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm again um, highly gracious and thankful um, for this um, 
lovely the time that I've spent here. Thank you so much again. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Um, I think all of us have learned a lot about Sanatani women, their life and how they are, um, you know, working, faring on these days. Mm -hmm.